This is the model railroad mainline extension 2 on my N scale model railroad. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western, welcoming you to my mainline extension 2 video. Today we are extending the layout this way against the wall. First of all, I did the helix, that's the first part. Then I did the mainline extension 2, which continues all the way down the uh, wall and made the layout 16 feet. Now I've extended the layout eight feet across the back wall and that's this video. It shows you how we're gonna do that and we're gonna do that right now. Let's see. Here just showing a little bit of the process. Um, just like always, I use the skewers in the hardboard. If you need to see um, how I do the skewers, you can refer back to some previous videos. The tap passing and the terminus videos show exactly how I use the skewers through the hardboard. Um, I'll try to put a card at the end for the passing and the terminus series. Um, just like I did the rest of it, I've got it all pretty much raised. Um, it's all off the ground on the hardboard and it's coming through there. Basically, that's the gross reservoir area on the layout. And, um, here's the roundabout. I'm going to do a video about roundabouts coming up soon. And the turnout's there. And there's a, if you see there's another turnout, um, there's going to be a passing in there as well. I've got double turnouts right there and double turnouts right there. And um, there's going to be, a, again, there's going to be a passing that comes off to the left there. There's a good view of the skewers in process. That's basically all I do. And then I snip them once they dry. Holds well. I drill down into the uh, wood a little bit too so I get a solid base and have some glue down there in the bottom. Just showing land track, I use Pico Flex. And Pico turnouts all code 80. Um, Pico rail joiners as well. Um, there's a good shot at the double turnouts there. And that other turnout, that second turnout, is the entrance into the next helix that's going to get up over that uh, air conditioner. And that's coming in a video soon, about three videos from now. Um, that double turnout up there in that top right corner will come out and come around into another helix that will come up and get over that air conditioner. Hopefully. Shot of the old part of the layout with the... There's Gracie. And no, she's not hungry. She's teething. She's a uh, hundred pounds now, if that tells you anything. But she grew really fast, so that's not a good indicator. And there's my roundabout there. Coming through, going to have a, a, a little lake that's going to hold my logs in there for the mill that's up there. There's, uh, again, the double turnout where the helix will come. And there's Jerry. Jerry's supervising everything. It looks beautiful. It really looks good. I, I'm proud of it. Um, his guys did a fantastic job. Um, painted the wall back there blue and put that pink foam all the way around and then i made that into mountains you can kind of see those behind me there's jerry again checking everything out and um got a video coming up next on those mountains behind me again there's going to be a helix right there three level helix double uh double line on half of it's going to have a double main coming down it and going up it a three level helix to get over that AC video coming on that very soon. All right, shot of the helix with the cover on it. And those the mountains, like I said, I'm going to have to do a video on these mountains coming up and they turn brown and go into gray. Got a video coming up way down the road a little while, but I'm doing a video on that roundabout there and the purpose and the and the project how it works. How it would how it worked for me, all right. And there's the the trickiest part. There was to because um, I had factored in that helix coming in there, and that helix is going to come right off there to the left on that second turnout. And I had to come out past the table to get everything in there and to get clearance on everything. Because I've also got to think about a double main coming down half of it and then shooting off of it. And so I had to think about clearance issues. It's going to be a really neat looking area in there if I get it working right. And uh, 
I got some, everything is pretty much dry now. The, I pulled the push pins out and I'm getting ready to show you some um, activity. I got a couple stills and um, just like I said, painted that black wall, back wall blue, put in a new shelf up there um, to hold my paints and everything. And again, this you're going to get a lot of uh, looks at this area coming soon because that is a bear. Look, I got, like I said, I got a view of the, the shed. And now I'm going to show you the trains running through the new area. I'm just going to talk through the first part. This is actually the extension area coming back across this back wall this way. And that's going through that first set of double turnouts coming off the roundabout. We're heading into what in my layout would be the Moffat Tunnel area. This is where the Moffat Tunnel will be up above that. And here we're coming through there. Just showing you Jerry's guys did a fantastic job laying the track. Everything looks smooth. And I'm just going to show you this train running through the whole area. Now the train is back into, just to give you some reference, the train is back into the mainline extension one area right there, heading back down towards Denver. And I've got a some uh, pretty long train here, and we're going to show it running through the new area primary, a little bit of the old area, but I'm going to let you enjoy. Y'all take care. Stick around.
All right, I want to thank you very much for hanging in there to the end here and watching with me today. I appreciate you coming in and supporting the channel. If you like what you see and you're not a subscriber, I want to encourage you to do so. If you have not already, click the bell icon so you can be alerted to my uploads. I want to encourage you to, to do that too, please. Also, if you know any other modelers that might enjoy my videos, go ahead and share that with them if you don't mind. This was the Model Railroad Mainline Extension 2. I also had the Model Railroad Mainline Extension 1, so if you haven't seen that already, I'm going to put a card right here right now for that, if you'll check up above. Also, I'm a part of the Community Roundhouse. If you haven't seen any of those videos, or if you might have missed any of them, I got a playlist for that. I'm going to put that here right now as well. Also, and again, thank you for watching today. My next video probably coming out is going to be how I do the mountains that are behind me and that are going across the back wall now. How I did that, that process will be coming up next. That'll be in a couple weeks. And I want to encourage you to check back in for that. Take care, y'all. See you soon.